Interim Town Manager Report. Back to you, Carter. Certainly. Uh, I do want to uh, follow up on your comments in the coming vote on Neshoba hmm. Valley Medical Center. Uh, there are uh, two public sessions, one in person, uh, one via Zoom, uh, and there is a deadline of this um, coming Monday for written comments. We have that up on the, uh, the Facebook page, and we'll try to get that up on the website, and I encourage uh, citizens who can attend uh, any of those hearings to do so. Uh, but also to submit written comments. Um, this is more than an individual issue uh, in that perhaps it's the facility you like. This will take our ambulances, if this happens, further out of town. And the longer they are out of town or our neighbors are out of town and we have to back them up with mutual aid um, or we are here with our one ambulance and relying upon call staff to respond, it simply becomes a domino that endangers the next person in need of services. Uh, so uh, this is a, a financial issue. It's a bankruptcy court issue. Um, there is an issue of compliance with state law, and you'll probably comment on that when the resolution comes up. Uh, but I really do urge the citizens uh, to um, be as active as they're their time permits. I know we all have busy things but uh, that keep us occupied, but this is important. Um, I would like to let the board know that we did receive one application for a commission vacancy, uh, Green Communities, and that's being sent over along to the committee and being put through the process that my understanding is you normally follow here. Um, I would like to uh, reach out to the, the citizens once again and, and I don't mean to be boring on this, but those volunteers truly are what communities like this live on. They're the lifeblood of our organization. Um, and if you, um, if you see something you'd like to participate in, give us a shout. If you see something you think isn't quite right, uh, perhaps you could ponder the possibility of being part of the solution. So we have some agricultural commission Architectural Preservation, District Commission, Board of Health, um, Conservation Commission, Cultural Council. Uh, we would still have a vacancy on the Green Communities Committee, uh, even if this application uh, winds its way through the, your process. Historical Commission, Open Space Committee, Personnel Committee, the Sewer Commission, and the Zoning Board of Appeals. I'd like to make a, a special shout out to anyone who's in the sewer district and is a user. Uh, this is extremely important to providing that service, making sure we can uh, uh, process our invoices and, and the operation can, can work. Uh, and we would encourage you, if you have any questions, reach out to Bill Bernard down at um, uh, the Public Works or myself. Um, in terms of employment opportunities, uh, we made some progress here tonight. Uh, we have um, an offer out on the uh, assessing assistant, and we did second rounds of interviews today on planner. Um, I have two more later this week. Uh, and we have um, advertised four and uh, actually begun interviews for the sewer business manager and we have some applications on the assistant sewer business manager i know last week i told her we were going to hold that one paula wanted to wait but i would like to if we're going to have to fill unfortunately uh, paula's position i'd like to try to get the assistant in so we can put them through their training uh, at the same time and they're both learning it uh, together uh, now, with respect to um, new hires, we've addressed that tonight, and uh, we addressed Ms. Bertram's <coughs> resignation under staffing updates. Uh, we did begin one-on-one -on -one interviews. We had one of the Perp Shaws um, in today on the transfer, uh, the trash and recycling, and we have waste management and our uh, current provider, uh, Harvey, uh, those are both tomorrow. 
Uh, Julie's really cracking the whip on myself and Bill and trying to see if we can't get that in front of you in for Tuesday night. But I do want to be realistic uh, that it might be the first meeting in September before we can get that in front of you. Uh, and one of the questions we are making sure we're uh, in full understanding on uh, is their ability to deploy on September 30. Um, and to make sure that uh, the customers, uh, should there be a change in vendor, um, are aware of the new vendor and the proper phone number to contact and how all that's going to work. Uh, the RFP for Town Manager uh, Recruiting Services uh, is ready to go out tomorrow or uh, we've notified the chair of the screening committee, asked him if he would like to have the committee look at the whole thing and sign off, uh, which that would delay us a few days, but uh, we could still get it out by next Tuesday. Uh, but I'll leave that to the chair of the committee to make that, that call. Uh, we did receive several design proposals uh, on the Marshall Park, and those are being reviewed with the owner's project manager and the committee. My understanding is that those are being completed this week as well. Um, so today, I, uh, with the chair, attended the Council uh, on Aging session, uh, and we did let them know that we uh, would be sending them the the job description for the executive director. I know the executive director has recommended some changes. And again, I like to try to involve the user uh, base uh, to the extent we can without, without getting you know, things too confused. Um, and we told them we would be sending them that in the next few days and asking for comments by mid-September so we can get that advertised because unfortunately our very able, and I am quite impressed, with the programs they put down on at the um, activity center. Did I get that? The uh, Lunenburg Adult Activity the Center. The Lunenburg Adult Activity okay. Center, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, I really am quite impressed with the number of programs that they put on down there. And I know we're going to miss our current director, but I, hopefully if we can get started in, um, uh, in mid-September that we should be able to get that position filled without any uh, lag. Um, and I, I do want to say that uh, going back for a moment, Ms. Bertram uh, has agreed to the extent she's available to uh, come in and um, uh, help us train uh, the new employees. So we really, uh, as you said, always had the best interest of the town at heart. And um, I think her extension uh, of this willingness to do this really, really kind of conveys that. Um, we did follow up, we told you last week, um, thanks to uh, Member Emke, uh, that citizens couldn't mail the select board as a whole group. And we've fixed that now on the website. Uh, we've added this to email the select board as a whole. Email Annie Aubrey and she'll forward it to the board. If they want to email you individually, they'll continue to do so. And that internal selectman.lunenburg uh, ma.gov, which is kind of an organizational internal communication tool, remains intact. Uh, but we've been able to solve it this way, I think, fairly easily. Um, finally, I'll be in the offices next Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, and Thursday. Um, and as you've seen by some, some text and some email, I'm available other times. And we'll get back to you as quickly as I can. I, I did exchange a message with one of the board members yesterday, and I ended up sending him a picture of the lake and saying, I'm sorry, but I was out on the water on day, and now I'm up on the mountain having dinner. So. Uh, that board member was kind enough to understand. And that's all I have for you this evening, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Carter. You really hit the ground running. So <laughs> we appreciate you. Um, are there any questions for Carter? I do have one, the IT question about uh, emailing the select board. I, I, I'm more than happy to see if sending them to Ann uh, and then her forwarding them will work. But I don't understand why we don't have a, f a public facing email address that automatically sends emails individually to the board as an IT group email, especially since, again, every year this changes and people would just be able to send it to one address forever and then it would go to everybody. So yeah. I didn't know, to have another step in the way just creates another Th hurdle. This was the fastest fix because you have a number of email groups that are internal only. I know that. Conservation, planning, I mean, it's quite a list. Um, I, 
can and will look into that, but for the moment, this seemed the fastest way to do it because I was able to do it by asking Kara Fair. to do it real quickly as opposed to waiting for getting a better answer. I'm all for the quick fix. I, I'm no problem with that. I would like to know from Sousa or IT, any board, any elected or appointed body should have an outward facing one. Now, I know internally there's a town wide email. I could see clearly why we would not make that public. But individual boards of, you know, three, right. five, con and seven con members. Conservation Commission at Lunenburg MA. Right. Uh, planning Board. Right. Yeah, we'll, we'll get you an answer okay. on that. Okay, thank you. I have one 